Okay, guys. Here's that 455. Had the crank seal leaking here on the mag side. Um, I've got new seals in it, new bearings in it. The customer decided going ahead and put a new piston and cylinder in it. Um, the other piston and cylinder. I don't know if this will show up. Let me try to get some light here. Had just a little bit of a, a score. It wasn't deep. It did run. Not very good, but it did run. But he decided going ahead and put a new piston and cylinder on it. And um, we've had pressure on this now for several minutes. And it's only dropped about a half a pound. That could be leaking around the, the O-ring here on this. It could be leaking around the hose fittings. Anyway, the the spec on this in the um, Husqvarna service manual is, um, I'm almost sure it's three pounds over 30 seconds. It might be three pounds over a minute. I'd have to look. But this is well within limits. Um, ex exercise the crank, turn it back and forth. I'm going to have to get the PTO side here. Yeah. Anyway, it's, I can barely turn it. But it's down right now. It's probably bled off maybe a pound and some of that could be due to where the piston was compared to where it is now with the pulse signal doing this on my phone again so we'll um relieve that we'll switch this over we'll pull a vacuum on it right there's about nine pounds I usually do eight to 10 pounds in that range. And right, what you see right there is the pulse signal. I'm rocking the crank. And it's staying put. So that's, that's going to be a pass. So, um, seals, new bearings, new piston ring, new cylinder. This thing will be up and running in just a couple more hours. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.